Hello YouTube, uh, Jose Nunzia and in this uh, tutorial we're gonna uh, go over how to remove the Babylon toolbar and search uh, toolbar from Mozilla Firefox. So we're gonna do the Mozilla Firefox one and then I will do one for Internet Explorer and another one for Google. So I'm using here Windows 7 and Firefox 7, okay? So it's the latest version. So let's open Firefox so you can see I go Babylon there and I go the toolbar there as well okay so the first step is we're gonna remove the toolbar now it's two ways to remove the toolbar one is you go to your computer okay local disk C double click go to your program files and you can see there is Babylon toolbar so if I delete this folder the toolbar should disappear okay but the other way I'm gonna show the other way before we remove this one is go to to the Firefox options go to add-ons and there it is the extensions okay so in extensions there it is the Babylon toolbar so remove okay and restart and now that should have removed the toolbar as you can see the toolbar has gone from there but I still got the Babylon search still here okay so now we're gonna remove the Babylon search so to remove the Babylon search what we're gonna do we're gonna go Google Home And make Google my own page click OK and obviously it didn't work okay so what we're gonna do is just delete this bit here copied that I like that copy okay and actually I could just drag now I could right click uh, sorry left click and drag and drop it on the top of the house that would fix it but I think I better show you the other way which probably better so go again back here to the Firefox options go to options options again and now here restore to default okay so click that you can see click OK and now if I close that and I click home you can see now Babylon has partially gone okay it's not completely gone yet from your computer because what happened is it's still on your search engines okay manage search engines select Babylon and remove okay click OK right now to test it if we type games uh, but I have to use that one because okay you can see Babylon does not appear but if I type games appear you can see Babylon has returned okay now what happened is is because uh, Babylon is now placed a, a cookie on your history on your computer so the only way for us to remove this we gotta have to use a software to completely remove Babylon from your computer and stop coming back ever again and the software which is if I go here to, actually to my uh, YouTube channel and show you the software that I use to remove this which I'm gonna show you how to use the software okay in my in my YouTube channel which is the main menu of the video okay if you go below the video on the video sorry on a video description okay more info I have added the link there okay this is my affiliate link which means if you buy this program I do get a commission okay you only buy the, the program if you want if you if you really want to to clean the history so you got no cookies installed on your computer now in this software package you buy a license either for one year or for for life it's two options and the software that you want to uh, 
download is the history cleaner. This one, history cleaner. Okay, you actually can download the trial, but the trial version doesn't actually remove everything. Okay, now it's like I said, the license that you buy, you get no only this this software, you get access to the entire software package that you can see in this website. Okay, so once once you go to the registration page, you got two. One is unlimited, and the other one is one year for thirty nine dollars and you get access to the all software that is on this page. Now, you can think, could we just, you know, go to Firefox, go to Options, and try and clean the cookies? Well, it doesn't work because the simple reason that doesn't work is because it's actually on your computer, so we need to find the orphan files. to be able to delete the cookies. Okay, let's try this. You probably don't need to buy the program. So, basically, there you go. So, if we go back here to, to Firefox, go to Options, and click on Remove Individual Cookies. And let's find See if you can find here the Babylon folder here and remove and close, click OK. And now let's try again. Let me close Firefox and open and see if he has gone. So if this works, then you probably don't need the program. But in case No, yes, you do need a program. Okay, so you do need a program to be able to to stop uh, Babylon coming back. Okay, it doesn't come back on your own page, but in some searches will uh, will probably appear, will trigger and make it make it appear because what happened is in your uh, computer registry that needs to be cleaned. Now to use the software, once you download the software, you need to close Firefox. You need to go to your computer back to sorry wrong 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 okay go to your control panel go to manage programmers okay programs and features and what we're going to do is now is to dump um, firefox completely mozilla Okay, so right click uninstall and now remove my Firefox personal date, data and customizations. The reason we want to remove that is so once we run the program that's going to click, uh, sorry, clean the registry on your computer, once you find all the, the Firefox files, as you can see it's gone, he actually detects that those files are now become orphaned and deletes them. So once you get the, the cleaner, is my history cleaner then. Yeah, it is. Okay, let me show the icon. So once you download and understand your computer, that's how it looks like. Double click, run, and now scan, and you're going to have to do this a couple of times. So, actually because I'm recording, it's probably it's going to have problems doing this. Because once you we actually doing the registry cleaner, to clean your system, you should have everything else on your computer should be closed, okay? So you can you can do the scan properly. So because I'm recording, let's see if we can actually fix it this way.
the reason we do this is so it basically cleans the, the, the registry on your computer so there's no chance that Babylon is going to appear again unless you download it again from the internet somehow. So this is a process that takes a bit of time. As well put some music. This is this is a slow process, so and I have to do this another another two times. So I think I'm gonna pause the video and do once do the the second time, and then I film the end of it of the third time. And just to see if we finish this one, because I need to show the second the second and the third time. So the, on the second time we have to go to settings and take a couple of boxes there to make sure that the the clean ash scans the files completely. Okay, now once you got OK, you click fix problems. Okay, the free version will not give you the option to 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 fix the problems. The paid version does. Okay, now. Now I'm going to run a scan again, see if you find anything else. But first, I need to go to settings and make sure that scan these two boxes are ticked, okay? And permanently delete. So make sure all this is ticked. There are all fine. Make sure all them are ticked as well. So it scans all your uh, recent documents and these temporary files, junk files, it cleans all. So make sure you got all them ticked. And they them ticked as well because this is what you actually want to clean the cache, clean the history, clean the cookies. Okay, so the cookies that is going to find is the cookies on your system itself. And click OK and let's run the scan again. And I'm going to pause for a bit and let this scan finish. Okay, you can see it found this time it only found two files it needs to remove. So probably I don't need to to scan. So I still be scanning the third time. I will gonna scanning the third time as well just to make sure everything comes up okay. Sorry guys, this is a, uh, you know, this is one of the things we cannot speed it up. He's, he's asked to let it do it on his own time. Which makes this quite a long video now. Okay, again, fix problems. He goes to the... Okay, and now we go to... We're going to do the third time and see if his everything comes up clean. Okay, this time I'm just going to pause and let him scan. And then I resume the video. Okay, the problem I got there, he keeps coming up with the junk files. Uh, he keeps coming up with the 
files found there because I'm recording the screen, so I uh, probably gonna have a problem because I should have everything closed really when this program is running. It should be just this program itself running, nothing else. And I'm running Camstage here and Skype, so those those programs should actually be closed, so the software could do the work properly. So just the last scan, and then we move on to re-download Firefox, the latest version, install Firefox, and everything should be nice and clean. So I just pause this here. Okay, there you go. So I did another scan. Let's fix. Okay, now it's okay. So it's no point for me to running another scan. So I'm going to do, just going to open... Let's open Internet Explorer here, so Internet Explorer should still be affected because I haven't cleaned. This is for another video, but what I want is download Firefox. So this one, everyone should know how to do it. So uh, this is pretty much it. Just reinstall your Firefox. Uh, if you go your Internet Explorer is affected in Babylon as well and, and Google Chrome, then watch those videos as well because you don't want to export any data now from your Internet Explorer or Google Chrome to Firefox. Otherwise, you're putting the promo back into Firefox. So you just want to clip Firefox, Firefox as a clean install. So just gonna wait for this download finish so you can see when I'm installing it I don't uh, transfer any data okay now installing uh, installing the Firefox yes click next standard Firefox yes use Firefox my default browse yes don't Firefox now yes no okay don't import anything guys don't import anything from the other two browsers especially if they are affected okay make sure you clean them with you know if you want to export any data so you may want to to do, to do firefox and then install as a clean install you can always export data later okay after everything is installed now can close this one and now here is the firefox which should be nice and clean and uh, now if I put games there, and as you can see, Babylon's gone from Firefox. So Firefox is now absolutely clean. Back to one page. There is no Babylon on Firefox. So this is how you remove Babylon from Firefox. And I'm Jose Nunes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe. I know it's a long video, but it needs to be done if you want to know how to clean your browsers and your computer from the from the Babylon malware uh, just to show that this is malware I actually run the scan on the malware on Firefox and this is a snapshot of the scan that I run and this is the results that you can see that Firefox uh, Babylon is classified as malware, spyware, hardware and other potential unwanted software. So there it goes, guys. I'm Jose Nunes. Thanks for watching. If you want to see how to remove from the Internet Explorer and Google Chrome, simple click back to main menu on this button that will appear now. Bye-bye for now.